and this is Ashley. Ashley. <laughs> And we've got the next 11 days to spend in Quatico. So we're super pumped. Very excited to get out there. A nice big thunderstorm just rolled over. So the weather looks like it's maybe clearing up and it's going to be a good time, guys. Stay tuned. So I just wanted to say, I really love this girl. Look at her. She's got 11 days worth of our food and dog food, plus some of my fishing equipment and other stuff in there. She's just, she's a beauty. Thanks, baby. I love you. day and uh, we paddled not very far too far on uh, Pickerel Lake maybe 10 kilometers or so and we're we got Dory Lake uh, right beside us here so tomorrow morning we'll get up and we'll head over to Dory and yeah start start the trip beautiful night a little bit of rain right now but this the sky behind us is unbelievable very cool the portage that leads into Dory Lake and there's some pretty cool stuff here there's a old it looks like ship remains maybe it looks like this is a I think this is the like the drive shaft and then down there there's a propeller and then I'm thinking that that might be a boiler or something over there and there's another there's some type of axle for maybe like a cart or something over here or it's a dumbbell to do some, some deadlifts. Yeah, deadlifts. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's probably pretty heavy. So, yeah, caught a nice little uh, nice little bass. There's loads of bass in this lake here. And uh, we're going to go see what's in Dory Lake. Probably end up just staying in Dory Lake because it's super windy out today. And Sturgeon. So the next big lake is uh, Sturgeon Lake, which is a, quite a big lake. And the direction of the wind today, it's probably just going to be a tough tough paddle on sturgeon so we'll probably just stay on dory hang out there and do some fishing and yeah beautiful i just got caught on the branch right? well we made it to our camp on dory lake and it's still really early which is nice so we're probably gonna go out and do a bit of fishing it's it was really windy when we got to the lake super choppy so we're at the far end of the lake now so we uh what would it be it's a west winds and we're on the west side of the lake so this this side's fairly sheltered we found a nice campsite and we set our tent up and we found that we must have um well must have had a little ember or something hit our tent and it's it's actually kind of burnt and almost shredded part of our cuban fiber tent which is pretty upsetting because these <laughs> these shelters are very they're, they're expensive they're really expensive right so anyways i guess it happened in not too bad of a spot but we're gonna patch it up with some tenacious tape which if you don't carry that you should start carrying it because the stuff is unbelievably strong it's so good so let's see how this works so we're just gonna trim up very carefully. <laughs> Be careful, that's expensive stuff. I know. <laughs> Why are you trimming it, Keenan? Uh, I'm hoping that it'll just stick better, the tenacious tape. But I don't really know. Just keep it tight. 
So that's what it looks like when it's done. As I said, it should it should really stay on there. This tenacious tape, it's crazy good stuff. I know people have used it as canoe patches and they've had to like like grind it off. Like you can't you can't peel it off. It adheres that well. So and we've used it, we always use it on our uh, sleeping pads whenever we get punctures on it. The actual repair kits that you get from Thermarest, we found they don't really work very well, but just a little little circular piece of tenacious tape and you're back up and running. So. And why is it, why circular? Uh, and you always cut your pieces into circular shapes so that the edges don't get caught and peel off easier. And then sometimes what we'll do as well is after the fact, We'll use a seam sealer and we'll go around the outside of the circle and that just keeps the edges from peeling, even though I've never actually had one peel off on a sleeping pad. So let's see how this holds up. Breaks my heart a little bit, but it's all good. Oh, well, another decent bass on. Not, not huge, but nice little guy. Cool, nice fish. Yeah. Oh, good morning. We spent, well, we spent all day yesterday at this beautiful campsite. It was crazy, crazy windy here yesterday. We had two days of just insanely high winds. So we thought we'd just kind of hunker down and have a bit of a rest day. It was, uh, it was beautiful. We had a little fish fry for lunch. I went out and caught a couple of little bass. And yeah, we're off. We're down. We're going to go down to De Riviere, which last time we were here, which was a few years ago, it was a, it was a big slog. There's about, I don't know, how many beaver dams is there? Three, three, big three or four beaver dams. Big ones. Yeah. So on the, the park what would you call the park staff i guess uh she was saying that the riviera was starting to dry up so it might be it might be a little bit rough today but that's all good
so we just finished De Riviere and we were told that it was going to be sloppy. It was actually starting to get bad is what they said. I'd say it's there. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to go with it. It made it there in the uh, day and a half that uh, that it was. So we, we did it a couple of years ago, so we thought <laughs> we thought we knew. Yeah. Like it, and it was because it was bad then, wasn't it? Yep. But it's definitely worse. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it was almost past the third beaver dam. It was almost untoddleable until the last, like, what, 50 meters. Even then we had to get out. So it's yeah. pretty, pretty sloppy. But we're going to clean our canoe out and carry on. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spill your coffee. It's all soaked into my We have decided that we're going to go to Antoine Lake. Me and Ashley found a beautiful campsite on the south, uh, no, sorry, we're on the north shore right now, on the north shore of Antoine Lake. And there's a, there's another nice campsite behind us there on an island, but it kind of had a weird vibe, so kind of had that creepy, oh, Ashley's coming over. Oh, I just, I just wanted to ask anyone who's watching this, um, do you ever get weird vibes at campsites? To the point where you feel like you need to go somewhere else. I, mean, I don't know if it's just us. Yeah, maybe it was maybe... a skull hanging from the tree. It could have been that. There's a there's a moose skull <laughs> hanging over there. <laughs> it could have been that for yeah. sure. But I don't know. Like it just yeah. I don't know. Had yeah, a weird vibe. Either. Yeah, it was it was you know nice. Normally like probably everyone out there we try and camp on islands if we can. But uh, tonight we we're on mainland and we had a I had a bass on earlier. We were just trolling around looking for a campsite. I've hardly done any fishing today, but had a bass on, decent one. It it uh, got off the line, and then um, uh, I think I had a bite from a lake trout too, but it didn't take. So, anyways, maybe after dinner we're gonna make some homemade chili that Ashley dehydrated, and then uh, possibly go out fishing. And we'll probably stay here tomorrow too. The weather's supposed to be decent tomorrow, and then they're calling for a storm maybe the day after. So decent you know winds maybe pick up a little bit tomorrow as well but it seems just crazy windy here i don't remember last time we were here seeing this much wind but anyways it's all good So when I'm fishing for lake trout in the summer, um, I've got this line counting reel, which you can see right there gives you the gives you your your depth, or how many feet of line out you have. So what I like to do is just make sure that I'm in deep water, like lake trout in the summer. Like it's been a hot summer. I, I you're, you're probably gonna catch them 40, 50 feet down. Sometimes you probably even get them deeper, uh, but but you want to be like I would say in at least you know 50 to 100 feet of water so what I like to do is just do a quick check so I put a I put one of these big weights on you could use any weight you have and just drop her down and just just kind of do a depth check so let's see what we got here I'm not very far from shore I'm only a couple hundred feet from shore here and I'm in about 60 feet of water 
just just offshore so that's that's good that's good that means that means I might be able to catch some lake trout in here that's a fish for sure Daddy <laughs> for a fish. Look at its tail. It's clearly been, hey, honey, back up, sit. It's clearly been hit by a pike or another big lake trout, but that is a beautiful fish. Put a quick weight on him. Uh, five pounds. Nice fish. Pike. <laughs> Holy. Uh, six pound pike. Yeah, beautiful fish. Let him go. Away he goes. So we're gonna have trout two ways. We're gonna, the, uh, some of it's gonna be battered. That's so the, the first fillet is gonna be battered because Ashley doesn't really like it with the skin on. The second half is gonna have the skin on and I'm gonna use the salmon seasoning. And then there's also some bass, which it's gonna be battered because I don't think anyone eats bass with the skin on. So let's, uh, let's try it, it's gonna be good. Okay, so I actually did trout three ways. This one's got fish crisp on it, and these two just have seasoning. And I'm gonna tell you what I think. And then Ashley just had some some of this stuff. So this is what we we normally use. No, they don't sponsor us. But if they did, that'd be cool. And it's really good. This this Taylor's one step stuff. I find that it sticks to the fish really well. It's got really nice flavor. Uh, doesn't matter whether you're using it on trout, pickerel, bass, whatever. It seems to seems to work. Even Ashley, who's not a fish person, really likes it, eh? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I really like it. Like, I like it even more if you just add like a little bit of salt. Yeah. As well, but yeah, it's I've I've never been into fish, and I'm gradually eating more and more. And yeah, I just had some, and I really really enjoyed it. That's good. And that stuff is better than what's the really popular one that you see in all the I don't know. I think stores. it's just called I think it's just called fish crisp, and we just we're not that into all different flavors, yeah, right? Get, the one you see in all the stores. Yep. So Taylor's one step if you can find it, try it out. It's really good stuff. It's <laughs> so good. You've done it again. I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> did it again. Honestly, I just. Why do people not like, like, a lot of people don't like lake trout, eh? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I could eat this all day, every day. Yeah, I know. It's so good. So we had another nice day and we, uh, yeah, we caught some nice fish, lots of bass. Nice pike, or decent pike anyways, nice lake trout. Had a good lunch, and then we just kind of chilled out all afternoon. Read, read her books, actually had a little nap. And uh, yeah, it's been super windy here again today. Thought she calmed down just in the last couple of minutes, but it's still, 
still really breezy. They're calling for like 30 to 50 kilometer an hour winds for the next couple of days. So, or gusts anyways. And, and, and uh, I don't know, constant wind at around 20 kilometers an hour. So strong enough winds and they're calling for uh, rain tonight, lots of rain and tomorrow. So we might be here another day, but if not, we're gonna work our way back up north just cause there's been so much wind. We haven't been able to get down as far south of the park as we wanted. We're gonna start kind of not working our way back home really, but I guess heading that direction. We're not gonna go any further into the park. We're gonna kind of just loop around and do you remember the name of that lake? Uh, it's up by, there's a couple lakes, Elizabeth, Lonely, Draper, Draper Lake is where we're going to kind of go. That's our next, uh, next plan, Draper Lake. So we'll see. Dinner time though. We just had a massive electrical storm go by us. It lasted, I don't know, probably six or seven hours, at least six hours. It was crazy. Like, I've, I don't know if I've seen that much lightning ever, but it, it, like insane, insane amount of lightning. So it was probably three hours. We watched the storm come at us for about three hours. And then it lasted at least another three or four hours while we were in the tent. And there was a lightning strike that felt like it was right on top of us. It was, it was loud. It felt like somebody kind of slapped you on the chest almost. You could, you could feel the shock, shock wave. So anyways, the weather's going to be unsettled today. So we're just going to hang out on Antoine Lake and get moving tomorrow. So we'll go fishing for a little bit and uh, yeah, hang out on Antoine again. Sometimes with pike, you don't even want to get them in the boat. <laughs> oh, they just stay out there. Nice big 10 pound pike. That's a good size. Big pike. Big pike. We'll let him go. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was I don't know. I've been wrong every guess I've had, so I'm not even gonna guess the species. I'm down fairly deep. It's like a football. Look. Look at that bad boy. Alright. Look at the size of this fish, like bass. Like, I don't even know how big bass get, but I'm pretty happy with that guy. It's almost like it's just not quite six pounds, but it's almost six pounds. So beautiful. That's a cool, cool bass. Maybe the biggest bass I've caught. There's lots of big ones in here, though. I know last time I was here, I caught a pile of them too. So awesome. So we just weathered the third thunderstorm of the trip. The first one didn't really count because we were kind of just, we were really at the truck, but the one last night, it was a doozy. It was insanely high winds. Like I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say some of those gusts were, I don't know, 80 kilometers an hour and higher. It was crazy here. And it seemed to last forever. And anyways, so three thunderstorms now. We're on day, what are we on? Day six or seven? 
I don't even know. It doesn't matter. It feels like we just had thunderstorms every day. But it looks like today and tomorrow, hopefully, are going to hold out and we're going to make our way to Draper Lake. I'm looking forward to it. This lake's been beautiful. Antoine Lake is gorgeous. The fishing's been pretty good. Uh, our campsite's been fairly exposed and we've had a lot of lot of weather so we're gonna go to Draper and check it out. We're just looking down the south end of Sturgeon Lake and I know that it won't show up but over here and all down the lake and a bunch of the other lakes there was a wildfire a couple years ago that me and Ashley got stuck in by accident and yeah it's kind of it's kind of weird looking at the the burnt trees all over here and when we were here you could I, I, you could hardly see anything we had masks over our face and I guess they were flying around looking for people in the park but it's not like a, it's not like a park like Algonquin where you book campsites or anything you just you can go wherever you want there's no there's no designated campsites you don't reserve a lake or anything so they thought they'd got everyone out of there but me and Ashley were still in there and we came face to face with the wildfire on a portage trail north of Alice Lake I think it's called bon, is it Bonholm yeah yeah we were like 90% of the way done Bonholm portage and there was the wildfire and then we came back out and we camped on Russell Lake and that night there was another <laughs> huge thunder lightning storm super high winds and the fire flared up and it just it destroyed quite a few acres here so anyways kind of creepy to see it but we we were uh, fortunate to make it out and yeah anyways Wildfires, eh? <laughs> Roll up! <laughs> Roll up! Oh. Nice! <laughs> nice! Pull her up, Hugh! Nice. Give her a kiss, dude. That helps. Oh. I'm turtling. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh, what do you say? You go. You good boy? Eh? What'd you say? <coughs> nice, babe. Just like a cat. Hang on. Okay. Sorry. Oh, these portages aren't aren't that easy they're, they're uh, a little bit steep a little bit muddy rocky slippery but lots of fun okay lost portage then we're on draper lake oh he's going pro right here this is a pro move something you don't see very often oh. he's bringing out the side so that you get more headroom wow oh my goodness what's he doing now he's going super pro windy Okay, so 
Thank you. Um, this will be the third night in a row now with thunder and lightning. So that's new to us. <laughs> we're really hoping that we weren't going to have more thunder tonight. But anyways, we keep hearing it and there's a big dark cloud moving towards us. So we might have to shut her down a little bit early tonight. Again. Again. It's all good though. It's all good. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice. And the day after is supposed to be nice too. So we'll see. We'll see. The fishing better be good on this lake. That's all I know. Hey, baby? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's been a bit of a rough morning fishing, but we think we got our first one here. That's a bass. morning for fishing we were expecting this lake to be pretty deep but it's it's not we found a couple spots that are in the 50 to 70 feet range and then most of the other the most of the lake seems to be 20 30 feet so uh, not not great for lake trout obviously um, and the only fish we've seen so far are bass so we got a nice one but I was really hoping for some lake trout, maybe some pickerel, but we still might find some pick. I'm not I'm not sure. They're probably they're probably in here too, but considering this lake isn't supposed to have bass, there seems to be uh, some some big ones in here. So let's see what we get. Nice. For dinner tonight, we are having bass with some couscous and some dehydrated veggies. So for the couscous, to give it some flavor, we just add um, these OXO um, sachets. I think these are chicken. Yeah. So we add two of those. We've tried doing one. We tried to go low sodium, but just just wasn't good enough. So we we go for two now. So we just add those in. Mix it around. Keenan doesn't mind if I put my fingers in his food. So for the dehydrated vegetables, um, what we do is we just, we boil one pot of water. So some of that we're gonna use for the couscous. And then we also just throw the dehydrated veggies in and just kind of cook them really quickly. We find that they don't need too much because uh, these vegetables are really thin. Uh, and we kind of like them with a little bit of crunch to them. So we throw them in quickly, let the water boil. 30 seconds so, kind of thing. Yeah, 30 seconds. And then we use, we drain them and use some of the water for the couscous. So there's the veggies. it for a few minutes, give it a stir and see how it is. So let's see how the couscous is doing. And actually what we did was we put the veggies in with the couscous just to try and keep everything a bit warmer. But there it is. Like you can see, like, you know, the couscous just fluff, 
fluffs right up. You really don't need to cook it. So I'm just going to put it back in this pot because this bowl is pretty full. That way I can give it a good stir and mix in the flavour. today and, and even tomorrow is actually not gonna be that great so we're gonna try and we might make it out tonight we don't know we're gonna we're gonna kind of aim towards deck row we we're gonna go to Jesse but it's just it's pretty windy for fishing again and and uh, we're, we're done with thunderstorms. yeah we're done with thunderstorms too so yeah, four, four thunderstorms on this trip, that's that's good enough. So we're going to see if we can get back all the way, but it depends on uh, how Pickerel is. It's Pickerel's a really big lake, and we've been windbound there before, and who knows, maybe it'll happen again, or maybe we'll get back, but that's where we're aiming for. Stand big. and we had another fantastic trip it's an absolutely beautiful park if you've never been to Quatico before I can't recommend it enough it's it's an amazing spot to come check out the fishing is great lots of wildlife although we didn't see any moose or anything this trip we saw some otters and tons of eagles and yeah it's an amazing park so come check it out thanks for watching lots more to come guys plenty more and as always thank you very much to everyone who leaves uh, really nice comments and yeah that kind of stuff it's always appreciated so thanks for watching guys stay tuned <laughs>